Hello and welcome back to Feed the Sphinx. My name is Sphinx and today we are playing Sally Face. Um, I did play a little bit, like, like two minutes of the game to make sure that I can record it properly and I'm very excited. It looks so good. It, it looks like so much fun and the music is rad as you can tell from right off the bat. Anyway, so Sally Face is about a boy with a prosthetic face and apparently has a very tragic past and we're going to go on an adventure with him. Yeah, we're just starting the game. Alright, here we go. It was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. Oh. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I answer the phone. What else can I do? Light switch? Oh look, it's a puppy! It's a pooch! Okay, what else we got in here? I'm gonna wait. <laughs> oh no, the bed's all bloody. Nurse! Pet oh, I can push this. There's a key! A key? Oh, Q I think is inventory? Yeah, stuff. <laughs> That's our stuff. I guess we'll answer the phone. Oh. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything's going to be okay now. Come and see. Uh, who is this? Sal, come and find me. Weird. It sounded like my dad. Aw. Aw, I was only allowed to ask one question. Okay, what else is in here? I think that's it. Door. <laughs> Ooh. Is this a hospital or... Oh, why is this door all bricked up? Oh. I just went through the first door I came across. Oh, oh is this alphabetical order? I see. Oh. Is it, this is already a puzzle? <laughs> I'm terrible at puzzles. That was not the correct door. So D was the correct door then. Okay, yeah. That was the correct door. Let's see. O. Okay, D O. Oh, is it? It's getting a bit more decrepit. Okay. Dog? Alright, I was supposed to spell dog, apparently. Is this a funeral? Hey guys. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? Dog. I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. The dog can speak, guys. We are talking to the dog. Huh? Go see for yourself. Oh. Diane Fisher, mother and wife. We're climbing down, I see. Hey, Diane, you down here? Oh no, it's just the hospital. <laughs> Passcode. Batteries not included. Uh. <laughs> How am I supposed to? Oh, I broke it. Oh, I was just supposed to break it. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this. Are you my dad? Dad? You are not my son. My son is not a... Oh, okay. 
Bye, Dad. This is your fault. Oh. That's open now. Hmm. The music just stopped. Mom? Are you... I guess she's dead? Yes, she seems very dead. And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes, it's an interesting dream. Oh, it was all a dream. Well, that's a relief, I, I guess. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Why do you want to know that? Which one? Oh dear. The second one. The one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. What does it say? Addison Apartment. That's what I'm assuming. Episode 1. Strange Neighbors. Okay. Oh! This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Alright, Dad. I'm off to make friends. Bathroom? What's this? Sleep aid. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after... Oh, that would tell me something different. Alright. Bags. Just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. You never know. Okay, <laughs> that's not a way out. I hear sizzling. Does anyone else hear sizzling? Alright, that's to leave. Let's explore the apartment first. What's in our room? We got a cat! <gasps> Gizmo! Oh! I see you made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. You can't pet the cat? How dare you? You can't just walk up to a sleeping cat and not pet him. That's not how this works. Alright. What else we got? This is Dad's room. Hey, Dad. Hey, kiddo. Decided to take a break from unpacking? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you th oh. Hmm. Let's see. I miss mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. Oh, we can ask more. Thank goodness. It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. <laughs> Alright, I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple weeks and then you'll be able to make all the new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm hmm <laughs> Alright, see ya. See ya, Dad. Try not to get into too much trouble. I can make no promises. Uh, time to go. And, uh, I guess not make trouble, but we're probably gonna end up doing that anyway. Alright, we are in apartment 402, and our door is green. There's the elevator. Oh, hello, sir! Hello! Well, I mean, you know he's a police officer, but let's just get that out of the way. I'm your fairy fucking grandmother. What does it look like? Oh, he's saucy. I love it. I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Overcompensating much? 
Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought to not see. Now scram. I don't get paid to babysit. Well, what happened in the room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. <laughs> I love the little head nod. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. Grumble, grumble. Alright. Let's go, Sal. No one's home? Well, there's nowhere else to go. Oh wait, there's the elevator. So we're on the fourth floor, so... Let's go to the fifth floor. We'll go up and then work our way down. Notice, this floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. Ah, <laughs> you're- <laughs> No, I will not. Locked. Five, four. Ooh, this one was open. Hello? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir, are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and... A dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? What the... He is gone. He's disappeared. Oh boy. Bathroom. Bathroom door is locked. That's weird. I guess we leave. There's handprints on the door. Which way was I going? I was going this way, right? Oh, there's no other doors. Right? This side. Locked. Also locked. Oh, this has no number on it. What number is it supposed to be? So this is 502, so I'm assuming this is 501. And that's it. Alright, let's head down to the third floor. I was expecting some snazzy elevator music, but it is what it is. Oh, wet floor. I cannot- I, am, I cannot go further because of the wet floor sign. And there's a, there's a thing, a person- Alright, let's go this side first. No one's home. Hello! Hey! Oh my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? Damn, you know my number and everything! That- that's okay. With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Oh, are you the janitor? Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. Alright. Oh, you're like the maintenance um, manager. Something to that capacity. Uh, so if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Oh, can't get past her. And the wet floor side is still here, so... To the second floor! Alright. 203. No one's home? Yeah? Who's there? It's Charlie. Hello. I'm new in the building, just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Well, you're not one to talk, so... Oh, I know. Young teens, new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself, I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see? I collect many things. 
He's a doll collector, it looks like. He looks like he's a brony. <laughs> These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir, not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. I don't really want to get close to him. Oh. Yeah, I think we've had enough. Oh. This is open. Yep, that's everything. There was the one there. This one. Yeah, so it's two doors on each side. Let's see. 202. No one's home. How about 201? Hmm. I guess no one is home. Well, that's different. I think they're... Oh. Yeah, there's something going on in there. Sounds like a... Like someone's uh, sharpening a knife and cutting. No, they're sawing. A, a goat? What in the heavens is going on in there? Well, they don't want to answer me, that's for sure. What a strange building. Alright, ground floor. Oh, we get to go to the basement too, I think. This is Addison. Oh dear, what a frightful up. Uh, pardon me, let's start over. Oh, it's Mr. Addison, I think he owns the building. Uh, hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Okay. Can I come in? Heavens no, I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Goodbye. Farewell, friend. Alright, well that was peculiar. No one's home? Oh, hello. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out? That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Alright, bye. So long. You're blocking my way. Then again, I don't think there's anything else behind you. It's home. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? Are you okay? You're green. Uh, it's Mrs. Gibson. Stupid good-for-nothing kids. Grumble, grumble. Okay. So she's not very nice at all. Okay, we can go to the ba- Oh, we need a key card for the basement. Okay. We're already on the ground floor. Wait, there's no way to leave the building? Yeah, there's no way to leave the building. At least it won't let us. Alright, we live on the fourth floor. Alright, let's go talk to Dad. Tell him about all the weird, freaky crap. Oh, there we go. 402. Dad, you'll never guess what I saw. I think he's in his room. Hey, Dad. Did you just stand here the whole time, Dad? Hey, kiddo. Oh, did I? Okay, that, that didn't trigger anything. Trying to get in too much trouble. Alright. Pet the cat. Alright. So, we have not triggered anything new, it seems. Oh, maybe we can explore the other floors now. So, let's go back up to five. Oh yeah, this was the one that was under renovation. 
think there's anything different here. But we'll check just in case. Yeah, this was the only one that was open. The guy is still gone. Oh, there's a door here that's boarded up. I didn't notice that before. I think... Is there knocking coming from inside the bathroom or was it just me? Or is that just the music? Alright, third floor. Oh, the wet floor sign is still here. What do we have? We don't have any stuff. Just explore the building. I did explore the building! Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal, what's up? Okay, we can ask Lisa some stuff. How long have you been working here? Do you know anything about what happened in 4-3? Is there anything fun? Alright, let's see. How long have you been here, Lisa? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now, but she's been here a hot minute. Alright, what do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over a hundred years old, you know? Oh man, people are always complaining about one thing or another. Well, you hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Ah, right, Lisa? Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. Focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. You just got a, got a lot of great life advice. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, it does. Let's change the subject. Um, do you know what happened at 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Oh, we lost Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Alright, is there anything fun to do around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. Oh, we're gonna go make a friend. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. <gasps> we got a key card to the basement. Cool, thanks. There we go. And then lastly, is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison Apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's a little extra, Lisa. <laughs> it's just people overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Alright, see ya. See you around. All right, to the basement. All right. Sweet. Oh, that's the laundry. Gee, I'm sure I'm looking forward to using this. Not. <laughs> Typical young young boy. Vending machine. Lots of tasty junk food. Not really hungry though. Why not? We can get a soda or something. Alright, 1B. I guess she, they live here. Oh, we just waltzed into the apartment? Oh my goodness. This is Lisa's room. So we could just explore her room? Okay, never mind. That, that makes sense. There's some junk food on the table. Pizza. Bathroom. What the hell was that? Sal and I had the same pot. <laughs> uh, hello? Okay. Alright. Let's go give a knock on the sun's door and freak him out because we're just in their apartment. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Door's open. Oh, he's an artist. Very cool. And a horror fanatic. Whoa, nice mask. Very nice. I love it. It's a prosthetic. Ah, I see. 
Oh shit, sorry man. It's cool, I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you like, have no face under there, or what happened? I'd rather not talk about that. It's a fresh wound, Larry. Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry, I live down here with my mom. Good, good call, Larry, good call. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. Well, at least... at least you noticed, Sal. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. Yeah, that's, that's actually a really good way. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Lisa was correct. Ha! Ah, that's what your mom said, too. <laughs> Mother knows best. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent-free with the maintenance gig. It's cool, though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. <laughs> I love all the posters he has. It's really cool. The eyeball one is probably my favorite. Alright. Uh, I like your shirt. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. Huh? Oh, that's true. SF. That's hilarious. I do have my own clothing line, so... Ha! Huh. It's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I do like metal. I don't know. Yeah, you're young. You'll figure it out, Sal. Don't worry. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. I love it. Hell yeah! <laughs> this is amazing. Am I supposed to stop it or just do I just let them jam out for as long as they'd like? Look at Sal, he's having the time of his life! Oh, okay, I did, I stopped it. <laughs> that was amazing, I love that. Alright, um... What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks to his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. Oh, I'll try that. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Alright, what happened in 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What, what is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. And you didn't tell the police, Larry? What the hell? Are you high right now? Ha! <laughs> I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. Holy shit, Larry, are you good, bro? I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. Seriously, we just met. Is it because we had bagged together? We had that soul bonding moment? <laughs> okay. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big Creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough. Hmm. Alright, let's change the subject. Uh, oh, that's it. Alright, well, I'll see you later, Larry. Larry? Oh, 
I guess they don't they don't actually say bye. 204. Alright. Ooh. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude, it's my passion. I do wait, that's the dog. That's the dog from my dream. And then there's the people. In the funeral. And whoa. Okay. Alright. Alright, so what's our objective? Go talk to Larry in the basement. Oh, well, we did though. Am I missing something? Alright, let's head out and see if there's a new objective for us to pick up. I don't know if we need to complete the previous objective before we can start the new one, or if they just let us start the new one and we pretty much completed it. I have no clue. Whoa. Look at all this stuff. Oh, there's a lost and found? Biohazard? Why is there biohazard stuff in a random apartment building in the basement? That is wild. Let's see, where was Lisa? I think she was the third floor, right? Let's go let her know that we talked to Larry. Your son's cool. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal, what's up? I met Larry. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you kids got to meet. Me too. It's good to have a friend again. Larry's a nice guy. I knew you two would get along. Yeah, we had banged together and everything. It was fantastic. Do you need any help? Oh, are you poking fun at me for mopping the same spot for so long? Yeah, you've been here a while, lady. Well, I like to be thorough, but to be honest, sometimes my mind just wanders and I lose track of time. That's cool. I'm the same way. I could tell you're a creative type, like my Larry. I'm glad you two are getting along. Sometimes I worry about him. That's probably because he witnessed a murder. Let's see. What do you worry about? Oh, I shouldn't be bothering you with this stuff. Let's keep things positive. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. Oh, I don't get to ask the other questions? Oh, okay. What do I do? Go talk to Larian. Okay, that's still my goal for some reason. Maybe going to see her triggered me being able to speak to him more. Okay, I think we're gonna go see Charlie in 204. Oh, wait. That's the exit. Yeah, we're gonna go see Charlie in 204. So, second floor. Let's see, 202. Okay, it's the other side. Oh yeah, there is something going on here. We need to figure out- there is a- oh. Okay then. 204. Hey, uh, buddy. Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you. I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. So, yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Be right back. Is there nothing else I can interact with here? Okay. Maybe this will trigger something new in Larry. Okay. Let's go talk to Dad, maybe? <laughs> I'm a little stuck right now. Unless I'm missing something. Painting. Radio. What's this thing? That's a... It's a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective. Something they weren't looking for. Why don't you sneak in? 
I just <laughs> pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Yeah, Sal, you tell him. Well, I gotta make the call down here, and I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. God donut, Sal. Sweet. <laughs> so what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery. Hostage situation and that, but should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that, so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I could give you a heads up too, once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or drugstore. Maybe make it a little more believable. Jesus, Sal! Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press the shift button there to call me. Alright, we have a walkie-talkie now. Use walkie-talkie in portal 2. Okay. Alright. Alright, there we go. I missed that. I didn't see it. Okay. Back up to our room we go. Oh wait, where are we? There we go. My place. Should I go into my room? Nah, I'll just wait by the door. Alright, I think that's a good place to end it off. That's pretty exciting. I love this game so far. The art style, the music, it sounds freaking amazing. I am having so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this so far. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below about whatever you like. Um, that's really fine, but let me know what you think of the game and uh, what you're enjoying so far the most. Uh, subscribe, and thank you so much. Let's do this again sometime.